What's going on, new gamers? Here we are, back once again with some Outriders. And today, I'm going to be going over two great legendary gear pieces for your Devastator. Well, I say Devastator, they're universal gear pieces, but they seem more suited to them. But anyone can use these. Obviously, you can take the mods off. They are very, very tanky and very, very good for close range. So, if that interests you, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always for all things gaming and for all things Xbox and of course a lot more Outriders then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for today you're here to find out what these two universal items are and will you be using the mods or such in your build. Now they are both headpieces so obviously you won't be able to use both of them at once as such but you may well want to take out the mods by disassembling them and just basically putting them on your build in some kind of a way depending on how your playstyle is. Now these two are very very defensive but very very good for that close range build. So what are they? Now the first one I found and I think this is one of the best looking ones in the game and that's just down here, that one is the fighter's mask. Now you only have to look at this to see how cool it actually looks, so let's equip it. Now if you look at that mask without actually looking at the panel giving all the details, it just looks really really good. It really reminds me of a Predator Assault, so it's got that kind of vibe going for it. It's a really nice aesthetic one, really really done well. So what does it actually do? Now this one comes with Anomaly Power, Skills Life Leech and Close Range Damage. Now don't worry, this one I didn't get a tier 15, I think I got a 14 by the looks of it, so obviously it will go up slightly when you get it to the level 50. But if you'll have a little look here, this is really really good, and like I said, I feel like a Devastator might, might benefit from this most, but I'm sure you could put on quite a few builds. Life of the Party. Incoming damage is reduced by 3% for each enemy in close range, and stacks up to 8 times. Now that's actually really really strong. And if my maths is correct, that's basically about 24% damage negation as such. That's actually quite a big chunk, especially at those later tiers. And just down the bottom here, and we've got Untamed Power. Using skills deals 34,286 damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius around you. The damage is equal to 30% of your anomaly power. So basically if you're going for a really really high anomaly power build, and obviously if you're a Devastator Assault and you're in amongst the mix, really able to pull off these so that you will actually be hitting everything in a little vicinity of sorts, then this may be one to consider. And obviously like I said, that will go up slightly as soon as you hit that level 50. But yeah, it might be a really nice one to put in your build, and like I said aesthetically, this one is very very pleasing. Now next up, and this one wasn't fanned by me, this one was fanned by a friend of mine online, Lewis, thank you very much for chucking this one over to us, and that one is Lucky Yushanka, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm not 100% sure on, but it sounds roughly correct, but if you have a little look, it's kind of got that Soviet theme going for it, it really does look quite fun, but I don't really think it looks as tanky as it actually is, because this pretty much is one of, if not the tankiest bits of gear in the game. As if you have a little look down the bottom here, it's tier 3 mod is Death's Door. Double your armour whenever your health drops below 35%. That is absolutely massive, and if you had this on with one other mod, which I think gives you about 50,000 armour, give or take, it's it's just going to mean that you're, you're as tanky as can be, I'm guaranteeing you'll probably have the highest mitigation you can get for damage reduction, and you pretty much won't have to worry about things. But not only that, if you have a look, it's also got one of the best mods in the game for damage reduction over on the right here, which is Emergency Stance. Attain Golem Protective effect for 4 seconds, whenever your health drops below 30%. Now it's got a 10 second cooldown, but to be perfectly honest, that is such a good RO moment. If you're in amongst it and you go, oh, it's hit the fan, that's when this pops. It allows you to either get some kills, get some life back, or just leg it round the corner for a little bit, try and get a bit of, 
bit of survivability about yourself. But all in all, I would say that this is very likely the tankiest bit of gear in the game that I have seen, and I think it probably is the tankiest bit overall. So yeah, if you're a tank, or if you like to be in amongst a mix of it, and maybe, maybe like I said, for a Devastator build, these two right here may well be really, really good. Obviously, you won't be able to wear both of them, but whatever one you like the looks of, chuck that one on, deconstruct the mods and such if you want to, if you don't like the looks of each of them kind of thing, and just chuck them somewhere in your build. But yeah, I think these are both really great for close range and if you need a bit of survivability. Right, all you guys and girls, just a nice easy one today, but I thought I'd chuck you on some content to show you some of the universal items, some of the late game things that you can get that will hopefully sort out some of your builds and make them really, really viable for that late game content, such as the Eye of the Storm, which I still haven't managed to do yet, but we're getting there slowly. As always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, and a lot more Outriders, take care, I'll see you on next day.